In this video, I want to start setting up our reloading. So we have our reload right here. You know, it's not really the greatest, but it's still something. So what we're going to do is we are going to add that into our montage. So let's open up our first person fire montage since we're still just going to be using that. And we want to be able to drop reload into it. However, as you can see, when I drop it, we need to make sure it's the same type. So if we recall our fire animation, is additive to mesh space we have to do the same thing for reload so let's open that up set it to mesh space set it to selected animation frame and select that pose to idle so after that we can open that montage back up drag reload into it and let's go ahead and make a new section and let's call it reload position it right at the start Go to Montage Sections, hit Clear to separate these, and we're good. So now we have two separate montages that can play whenever we need them to. Okay, so we have our montage set for Reload. Now what we're going to do is let's go back to our character here. So let's see, where do we have the other functions at? Right here. So Cycle Optic, I'm going to do it down here, and let's just call it Void. Reload. So create the implementation. And in here, we're essentially going to do what's inside of on fire. So we're going to copy that entire section where we play the montage. What is fire animation? Okay, that's the montage. So we copy that, paste it inside of reload. I'm not a huge fan of how they check null pointers that way. So we play the montage, and then we want to jump to section. So anim instance, montage jump to section, and then the section we want to jump to is reload. And most the other parameter. Yeah, that didn't matter to us. So we just want to trigger the reload. So let me double check. This is blueprint callable. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead, close down the editor, and recompile. Okay, once that's done, we can go ahead and reload everything back up, and we're going to head to the first person character blueprint. So just like we have over here where we set is aiming, we are also, let me go ahead and copy this and paste it, we are going to trigger the reload. So let's set the key to R, and we want to call reload. Simple as that. Compile save, and let's see if it plays. Press R. And as you can see, it's trying to play the animation. However, we have a slight problem there, and that is the left hand is not releasing off of the gun. So we need to kind of, we need to figure out a way to fix that. So basically, let's look over here. For the, no wait, we're doing this actually in Blueprint, so we need to convert that over to C++ here shortly as well. So we have our fabric node, and that is controlling the left hand. So pretty much the left hand is kind of stuck in that position. So what we need to do is when we trigger the reload, we need to modify this alpha. So what we can do is in our animation instance, let's create a float. We print reload only and all that kind of stuff. Float, reload, alpha. And we almost want to kind of invert it. So for default, we want to set it to 1. So then when we start reloading, we want to interpolate it to 0. So whenever we go through and reload, I create a new function. Void reload. And when this happens, I want to do a check. So if reload alpha is, let's do just, I don't know, equals one. Then we want to make sure we set it to zero. And otherwise, we want to increase it up to one. 
So this can leave us to a problem. So else if reload alpha equals zero, we set it to one. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But this is going to get changed because obviously we want to have kind of a little bit of interpolation. I don't remember if it'll do it kind of for us or not, or if we have to actually interpolate this value. So that's already set. So we can go ahead and close down the editor again, give it a recompile, and check it. Okay, let's reopen the assets. And here's our fabric node. Let's search for reload alpha and plug that into the fabric node. So once that's done, all we have to do is when we call reload, we want to do the same kind of thing we do with cycle optic. So if our animation instance is valid, we call our reload function on it. Not sure why it's letting me access reload alpha or nope, that's all public. So I actually want to make, eh, I'll just leave it. So let's do our hot reload. So press R. And it goes through and plays it until the end. So it's constantly kind of switching back and forth. Which is a slight problem. So uh, what was it? We need a way to trigger that the reload has stopped. So we can have a public function in here. So void stop or yeah, just stop reload. And I want to make this one blueprint callable. No more, what am I doing? And same thing, I'll do this category as well. And what stop reload is going to do, it's going to set reload alpha to equal one. So that way it kind of, it should move the hand back into position. So if we have that function now, again, we always got to restart the editor. Okay, once that's done, we can reopen everything back up. And what I want to do is in the animation montage for reload, when the hand is pretty much back up where it's supposed to be, it's already inserted the magazine. As you can tell, this beautiful animation. So somewhere about kind of in here where it starts to bring the hand back, I want to trigger a notify. So let's right click down here where it says notifies, right click, add notify, new notify, and let's call it reload finished. So we have that. And what that allows us to do is let's go to our event graph here. Search for reload finished. And from there, we can just simply call that function of stop reload. Like so. And that should kind of disable it. So now we press R, we reload, press R, we reload. And the only downside is it kind of just snaps back into position. So when stop reload triggers, we're going to want to pretty much interpolate the value back. Because obviously that is an issue. So that will probably be something we do in the future video. But that's pretty much going to take care of that. Uh, what I want to do next is I forgot I left this in Blueprint. So we're going to move this where we create that transform over to C++. So that way we, obviously we just have it because it's something we need anyways. So once, yeah, that's actually going to be it. So that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series and my voice is going out just for, <clears throat> just for Patreons as well as you get early access to all of my videos. So if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below and I'll try to help you out.